Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will show an important property of RSA. It's called malleability property. Let me get straight into it. Suppose you have an RSA function that we have been talking about. RSA of M is defined by M power E mod N. E and N are public parameters. You get a ciphertext C. Let's assume M is even number, say M is eight. Just a simple example. Question now is what is the decryption of C by four power E? Uh, as an attacker, you have obtained C, right? By monitoring the traffic and uh, you compute C by four power E and submit to the server. Uh, the server is the one who's going to decrypt it. So what will be the value of uh, C by four power E when it is decrypted by the server? So let's reason about it. Uh, how is C obtained? C is nothing but M power E. So you have M power E and we are dividing it by four power E. Okay. Dividing means uh, multiplicative inverse, uh, but I already mentioned M is an even number. Say I assume M is eight. In this case, it becomes eight power E by uh, four power E, which is nothing but just two power E. So when the decryptor decrypts the two power E, right? Let me write the decryption function. Decryption function is nothing but, let, let's call this a C prime because it's a modified one that we are submitting to the decryptor. Decryptor just takes the incoming ciphertext C prime, which is two power E and applies the decryption key on top of it, right? In mod n, so e and d and e and d will cancel out, you get two. So the decryptor will get two, even though the center had sent eight. So the context is like this, you have Alice and you have Bob, right? Uh, she's sending, Alice is sending to Bob encryption of eight over here. I'm just choosing eight as a small example for demo purpose. Um, so in, in, instead of sending eight in clear text, she was sending an encryption of eight. Um, that's the, the C but they, the attacker has actually modified the C and replace it by C prime. And when Bob decrypts it, he gets back two as opposed to eight, okay? This is called the malleability property, okay? Let me quickly show a demo of this. We have been talking about this for quite some time. So I'll, I'll uh, rush it a little bit. Um, we're calling the encryption function, uh, RSA encryption function, the raw one, M power E mod N. N is the RSA modulus, is the message, um, that we would like to encrypt. So I am tampering as an attacker uh, by taking the ciphertext and multiplying it with uh, four power E mod inverse. Remember division means mod inverse. That's basically what I'm doing here. And uh, I submit the modified uh, ciphertext to the decryptor. When the decryptor decrypts it, he, uh, he or she will get two. Of course, the attacker doesn't have the decryption uh, key D. It's only done by the recipient who has the decryption key. But the point is that if, it, if you modify the ciphertext, you can have some change uh, that, that will not be noticed by the receiver, okay? All right, that, uh, you can also do multiplication, not just uh, inverse. You can also multiply the ciphertext by two power E, then uh, the resulting plain text will be two times the plain text that was sent in mod N. All right, that's all, thank you very much.